Welcome to Pixel Composer 1.19.3 So this version doesn't have a lot of nodes but have some really interesting features so let's get to it We have only 3 nodes in this one The first is the flow part This is a pretty specific effect that allows you to create this flow animation using part Right, so you define a part and when you start playing you're gonna see that it will try to morph, try to flow and blend the pixel along the part in a loop manner Next you have part offset from the naming alone, it might be confusing because we already have another part they call it shift part or part shift. The part shift just gonna move the part along the normal, right? But the offset part offset the origin and the ending of the part. So this can be easier to see when you try to modify the part in other way, like for example with the trim. This is just trim the part. So when you draw a line, you're gonna see that it's only trim to this part. But now if we shift the offset, you're gonna see that the part that is drawing will start moving. Even though the trim still says as from 0 to 0 0.28, the point 0 of this part, the origin of the part, has been shifted into like in this case 0 0.35 of the entire part. Then we have a node that used for at last modification. So I'm gonna explain this with the new improvement on the draw text because I now add the option to output at last. So each character will output its own surface. It can be useful with the new node, the at last effector. This node will allow you to modify the at last based on this effector. The effector could be an area object like this. Or you could do a linear line, linear wipe. Or it could be just another surface. And as you can see, you can control what property you want to affect. In this case, we affect the blending and apply the relative position. So when you move the effector around, you're gonna see that your character start moving. Next is a very big feature and it's probably gonna be really buggy. I'm still working on it, but I think it can be really useful, which is the group instancing. So you can press Alt D on a group object or a group node to create new instance. You're gonna see the icon here look different but this is a group icon but this one have a link icon. So this could be just a basic transformation animation right? Just rotate the object around. So the instance group will also be the same. But what's special about instancing is that when you go to the original groups and then you make a modification to it for example applying some color blending that change will be applied to all the instance of the same groups. Normally, if you just duplicate the node and then you go inside the original node and then change other property, you will see that the duplicate node will just stay the same. But for instancing, the content inside will always match with the original node, except the input output, of course. So you can, for example, add new input. And now you're gonna see that the instance group will also have new input here as well to allow you to have different values for each instance. But it is still under development. I expect it to be really buggy because it requires a lot of rewriting the node and rewriting the rendering system to make sure that it works and I'm not sure if I get it right yet. So if you have any bug, any crash, then please report it to me on the Discord channel. I will be there to make sure that this feature is as functional as possible. Then we have an improvement on the composite node. Now each of the object will now have its own anchor properties. You can control the position, rotation and scale anchor. And the grid tile got some slight improvement on the coloring. As you can see now, the color should tie seamlessly. Now the padding now have new filling method, which is pixel expand. It's technically the same thing as adding the pixel expand node at the end, but this way it's just easier to use, easier to access. Now the canvas got new data transfer feature, so you can have like a node or a group of nodes that generate some pattern for you. You can connect it to the data source properties. Then in the data transfer, you can just create transfer to transfer all the data into the canvas and this allows you to, to edit the canvas like destructively next is the switch node if you don't connect the index properties so it's just a free value then you will be able to click on the different case here to toggle the value and the tunnel also got new property to control how the label will work right you can control the position you can control the label scale and the color and the alpha and all the stuff like that uh, the bridge part now have new random distribution so instead of just distribute it uniformly across the all the part you can have it randomized uh, the palette now have new button to export the current palette file we have an improvement on the inspector there's now this arrow that allow you to go backward or forward in the inspection history and you can now modify some of the context menu or the right click menu Right, when you have all of this item, you can then right click on it and then click on edit items which will show you all the item in that context menu, right? There are some different conditions that will cause some item to appear or reappear. And as usual, we have a series of bug fix scrolling on the screen right now. Uh, one of the bug fix is on the tile set node, right? On the MK tile node. Because I'm making a tutorial video for the MK tile, but I found number of bugs and number of mistakes 
So I have to fix that first before I can start working on the tutorial. But yeah, that will be it for today's video. So thank you everyone for watching and special thanks for all the Patreon supporters. When I post an artwork on the social media, some, some people may ask like, okay, can you share the project file or stuff like that? But I did share it on the Patreon. So if you're interested to see a sample project for inspiration or to learn about different notes, you can check out my Patreon. But yeah, that will be all for today. So thanks for watching and see you in the next one.